Hi, this is Mike Gertis from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. Today I want to talk about loving yourself more. Now, you know, we are all told to love yourself, but on the other hand, a lot of us don't really love ourselves. Sometimes, I don't know about you, but I know about me, sometimes I'm, you know, if, sometimes I'm not that much of a friend to myself. Sometimes that inner talk, that inner voice is, gets really high into criticizing myself. You know, and, and I came to this realization, I came to this awareness um, just this morning that um, that self-criticism really is arrogance. Because the truth be known, we're all children of spirit. We're all individualizations of that one life, that one love, which God is. So if we're criticizing ourselves, we're criticizing God's handiwork. And who the, do we think we are? We need to love ourselves more. Because it's said to love God. Love God with all your heart. You are, I am, an individualization of that which God is. Therefore, we need to love ourselves. Now, what I found is, whether we're loving ourselves or we're judging ourselves, whether we're praising ourselves or beating up with ourselves, most of us have a tendency to think about ourselves too much. So I'm not suggesting that we think of ourselves less. No, no, no. I'm suggesting that we actually think of ourselves and love ourselves more, but just not so often. I think it's more important if we think about how we can be of service to our fellow man and woman, how we can be of service to spirit. What would God have us do today to make this world a better place? You know, there's a lot of work to be done. And there's a lot of work that each one of us could do. You might say, well, you know, here I am stuck at home and I can't go anywhere, can't do anything. That's not true. You can do something. You can pick up the phone. You can call a friend. You can get on your computer. We have internet these days. You can talk to anybody in the world. You have a cause. You have something that's important to you. Maybe it's you want to be supportive of making political change. Maybe you want to be involved in helping children. There's lots of things that you can do to make the world a better place. Now, I got a, I got a brainstorm here for you. You will feel better about yourself. You will have higher self-esteem if you begin doing esteemable things. Pretty simple, isn't it? It's true. He or she who does esteemable things has higher self-esteem. Unless you happen to be arrogantly self-criticizing type of person. But we talked about that already. So, I've got an assignment for you. This week, go to the mirror, look into it, and say, I love you. <laughs> I want you to put your arms around yourself and say, I love, I love, I love you. Because the truth be known, you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be held. And if you don't do it, you can't guarantee that anybody else will. So friends, I hope to see you again soon. Remember that um, while the Center is streaming its Sunday messages. We still appreciate your support. So if you haven't heard yet about how to support the Center, there are multiple, multiple ways. Perhaps the easiest way is just go to our Center's webpage, cslphilly.org, and click on the donate, le donate link, and that'll take you to a site where you can donate us. Donate to the Center. That's it. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, let's start with let's close with a, a closing treatment. Let's give thanks that 
right where we are. God is. Therefore, love must be. And I know that I am an individualization of that love. I know that I express that love. I am that love. And each of one of us is an expression growing in that awareness of love. Yes, I love myself as an expression of God, as I love God. And I love the opportunity to love one another, to make this world a better place, and to raise up all people. With a grateful heart, I release this word now to the law of mind, grateful that it is so, and together we declare, and so it is. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.